with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. Here's a live look out of our Graber Post Buildings Cam. We did start the morning off pretty wet. That has moved out of our viewing area now, though, but some roads are still wet in some areas, so just travel easy out there overnight. Humidity levels have gone down where they were at the past hour. They're at 86% right now. We do have a couple areas that are experiencing some light patchy fog. Most of us are up to full visibility at 10 miles, though. 32 degrees, so we do actually have a little bit of a wind chill out there this, this evening even though the temperature is at 39 degrees. High pressure is now back in control after we did have an active start to our weekend. 44 was the high we reached here in Terre Haute today, 39 in Paris, 40 degrees in Effingham, 50 in Vincennes, and then 38 in Champaign. So north areas struggled to get out of the 30s today. About mid areas got in the 40s, and then a few south places actually did hit 50 degrees today. Temperatures right now are starting to decline, though. We're sitting at 39 right now at the airport, 35 in Champaign, 37 in Robin, and then 38 is the current temperature in Washington. It is a little bit windy out there right now. Winds are about 17 miles per hour in Mattoon out of a northerly direction that's bringing in the cooler air this uh, evening. 10 miles per hour right now in Paris, 10 miles per hour in Terre Haute. And then Olney is sitting at 9 miles per hour. So winds during the overnight hours and later this evening into the overnight hours, we are going to continue to stay between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. But like I said, we started the day off pretty wet. Mattoon picked up about 3 tenths of an inch. Effingham got a little bit over half an inch. And then south places, just like I did forecast, and we were forecasting this pretty much all yesterday, they did pick up a little bit more rain, kind of around inch, inch and a half. And the system that did bring us some rain overnight and earlier this morning that is moving all off to the east coast now. It is bringing some thunderstorms in parts of Louisiana and Texas. Also some snow just north of the area, northeast of the area. We're not going to see any of that. We're actually not tracking any snow in the long-term forecast. Not even really any rain. Few showers are still popping up on the doorstep automotive Doppler radar. That's kind of around I-70, just uh, east of Viego County in the Terre Haute area. Really not going to pick up any more rain over the next several days, though. A little bit of cloud coverage that is going to linger into the overnight hours, but we are going to be partly cloudy tomorrow. Some of the clouds are going to diminish, though, especially as we're heading into Monday. So some more sunshine can be expected, at least as we're heading into the work week on parts of Monday and Tuesday. But really, we're not talking about any rain. Maybe as we get to about the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we could be tracking some rain. But on the seven-day precipitation model, this takes you out through about Thursday, Friday. We're still going to be sitting dry, maybe the next system, then kind of hitting us as we get into the weekend. But for now, enjoy the dry temperatures or the nice temperatures, the above normal temperatures are going to kind of come back in the area maybe on the 6 to 10 day temperature forecast. This is kind of the forecast for as we're getting close to Christmas and then into about December 28th, so a little bit after that. But thinking we are going to eventually start to see some below normal temperatures again just because that's what's going to hit the Pacific Northwest and then kind of move through our area. After that, we are looking at kind of an average as far as precipitation goes, so that's not really going to change. 25 is the overnight low. That's heading into your Sunday. Mostly cloudy but colder. Tomorrow, 39 degrees, partly cloudy, but we are average. 39 is our average high for this time of year. So all the seasonal temperature lovers have that to look forward to. We do stay seasonal the next several days. We'll have sports coming up after the break.